Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The speed greater than 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5 is called hypersonic speed. The hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given these weapons speed, maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. While the traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles follow a relatively predictable up and down trajectory, hypersonic weapons are maneuverable and can fly at altitudes where few military sensors and radars are monitoring. They can conceivably be deployed from land, air and sea. While most of the ballistic missiles are able to achieve hypersonic speed at terminal stage, but they are not called hypersonic missiles because of their typical and predictable predetermined parabolic path. There are two types of hypersonic missile. The first one is hypersonic cruise missile powered by an air breathing ramjet, scramjet or dual mode ramjet engine. And second one is hypersonic glide vehicle which reach orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards the target. The private firm STNP is working on hypersonic glider called HGV-202F. The hypersonic glide vehicle is mounted on a booster rocket. Like a payload on a conventional rocket missile, the booster takes it to the required altitude in a range of 60 to 100 plus kilometer and provides the initial orientation and the speed. The HGV then abandons the expanded booster and re-enters the atmosphere and performs a high degree pull-up maneuver to enter the glide phase and finally the terminal trajectory. The HGV-202F is an unpowered gliding body and uses aerodynamic forces to glide towards the target with a speed of Mach 10 and much more maneuverable than the existing ballistic re-entry vehicles or RVs. The STNP industry did not develop any new special material for HGV but has made critical adjustments in the existing materials and design so as to overcome the heating issues with hypersonic missiles. On 15th August, the STNP has shared an interesting image of the flight path of HGV which you can see in front of your screen. As you can see the image, the missile source is originating somewhere in Orissa and ending close to Beijing. Now, talking about its development and trial, the lab test of HGV-202F was planned in September 2020 at Mach 6. Due to a technical impediment in the boost glide vehicle system, the test was called off few hours before the schedule. The firm is yet to announce the trial of HGV. The STM industry have also presented a mock-up of HGV-202F at Aero India 2021. As per the project director Saurav L. Chaudhary, the vehicle will be ready for its final test in mid of year 2023. The CEO of the firm estimated the final flag in the timeline to be at the end of same year that is 2023. On 11th March 2022, the Ministry of Defence has put hypersonic glide vehicle under make one category which means it will fund up to 70% of total cost of development of the prototype. This is an encouraging proposition which opens the door for private firms towards the development of hypersonic technologies. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.